Alright people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So thank you guys for all the support on the first part of this Red Eyes Reverse. Uh, I think that it worked out pretty well and we got plenty more to go. So now we're going to be playing as Panic versus Yu-Gi! And uh, you know, hopefully we can just continue racking up these W's. Like I said, if you did not watch yesterday's video, then go back and watch part one does which is obviously part two but uh pretty much the plan is that we're gonna continue doing this until i'm done you know and no matter what you get to a draft league season two round two will begin in july and if i'm not done with this then we're just gonna overlap you're gonna get two videos during the weekend but i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna try to get this done uh so you guys can Pretty much have, we could pretty much be done with Legacy of the Duelist for a while, while League is on hold in the weekend, and of course, uh, five D's is our Tuesday, Thursday series, so this series will be pretty much put on hold, and we'll end it off at, you know, a nice, comfortable spot. So go ahead and summon that Red Eyes Wyvern, activate this effect, and equip it, and then, I mean, that, that's a nice, powerful 2400 Red Eyes right there, so that's how you get that done. <laughs> And that's all you're doing, Yugi? Like, that's all you got, my boy? Like, boy, you about to fucking get your butt destroyed. <laughs> and like I say, even if you get rid of my, uh, my Wyvern here, I got my Black Metal Dragon. Oh, or you can do that, Yugi. Oh, every single fucking time. Every single fucking time. Fucking Yugi is just doing these fucking band-ass cards to fucking just have some way of fucking dealing with me. Like, I see you, fuck boy. So, I'm gonna grab me Red Eyes Fusion, of course, because I can go ahead and do that next turn. Nope. Wow, you got a critical horn of the unicorn too? Shit. I think this thing is gonna be. Not that strong, it's only gonna be 27. Why well, I think that uh, Curse of Dragon is stronger than that? Ah, oh, you wanna hit me for the 27? I'll take that. We take those around here. That's fine. Nope. Nope. Done, Yugi? Alright. Fucking snatch steal. Who the fuck thought that card sh should have been unbanned? Like, I mean, of course it got banned, like, immediately the next list, but I can't believe we actually went through a format where snatch steal was fucking legal. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so now we can go ahead and activate that powerful red eyes fusion. See why I did it during the end phase, and so, uh, I can't summon any more monsters, but I already have this monster on the field. Uh, fuse for my deck, and you can like, what kind of bullshit is that? And I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> and, uh, I don't think I'm going to use the effect, because it, one, it's not going to burn for a game, and two, uh, I can keep the red eyes in there for, uh, more plays. Okay. And of course, he becomes red eyes. Back with red eyes. Red eyes, quote unquote. And of course, your horn of the unicorn cannot return to the top of your deck because, uh, yeah, fuck boy, yeah, fuck boy, you can't do that because archery. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, this duel is definitely looking to be in my favor. But you know, you know, knowing fucking Yugi here, he'd probably be like, all right, Regeki, all right, now Monster Born, because you know he has all the fucking band cards, or he can play Swords of Man, like that's fine. That's not gonna save you, but. Done because I knew Fuckboy Yugi. That's what I said. I this is the reason why I left these destinies in here just for Fuckboy Yugi. That first duel, you know, from the fucking Stars of Light as he just played, and um, and uh, Heart of the Unsolved. Like, I was like, I was confident that this Red Eyes deck would be strong, but I mean, still, nonetheless, the fucking Fuckboy plays Exodia, you know, so you know, if I was to let him stall me out too long, I could easily just lose the duel because of Exodia, so. Once I activate this, send back my red eyes, and then everybody attacking, that should be game, and that should be... Alright, unless he has Karibo. Maybe. If he has Karibo, then this might not be game. Alright, so you have Karibo. You know, I hope that these videos aren't too long for you guys, I know I'm leaning more towards half an hour. Uh, when it comes to the week going up, I'll probably cut it, like I said, because we're going to keep doing this no matter how long it takes off. Uh, when it's, no, uh, when, oh, uh, yeah, see, we're at, we're at 65%, so we still got a little while to go, but, uh, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done. So, uh, when League is out, if this doesn't, if we're not done with this right now, with a half an hour, till July and League, and you're getting double videos, I'll probably cut down those videos down to 10 minute increments, 
uh, because you're getting two videos, so I don't want to like give you a half an hour of this and on top of the week. So uh, we'll probably go ahead and cut it down in ten minutes. But I'm, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting this finished. You know, that's definitely something I want to do. All right, so uh, doing it against Joey here, and as we know, he does have his red eyes now. So. Uh, that is definitely something that he can do. So, uh, I guess for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and go stone. Activate stone, tribute off stone. I can't do red-eyes fusion. That, that's the issue here, is that I cannot do, uh, my whole red-eyes fusion thing, because I drew the one summon skull. And you're probably going like, what? You only play one summon skull? I only have one summon skull. I, for some reason, I only have one fucking summon skull. I tried to open up packs and get more summon skull, but... Nope, no one to be found, so rip on that, boys. Rip on that. So, I'm just trying to think in the back of my mind, what's like the worst thing that fucking Joey could do to me right now, you know? That, like, that's definitely like, something that I'm worried about. Especially the band cards. Like, the band cards? You know, if he has like Snap Steel, I have an answer for that. And if he has Rageki, I have an answer for that. So, overall, I'm looking pretty decent right now. Yeah, it looks like it. So, I guess I'll go ahead and just... Dust tomato during the hand phase. Pop that. Probably mirror force. Nope, oh, Kunawa okay. Still good. Still good. No, I'm good. Then I can go ahead and use my Gemini effect. Use my normal summon to gain the effect. That just means you can burn this card by the original attack. Yeah, so summon it. Bam! That effect. So, what is it? I think Jeremy is probably. In the battle phase, you could just burn. Okay, just burn. Alright. So, I mean, I guess I can just go ahead and actually summon the... Call the Haunted, summon the stone, tribute off the stone, summon another red eyes. That wouldn't be a terrible play. I said, I'm trying to wrap this duel as quick as possible. The quicker I go, the quicker we get more duels done. I said, this series... It'd be interesting if this series actually wraps up, like, this half an hour actually wraps up before July. So we got a couple more weekends, I believe. Um... I don't believe that I'm going to be able to do enough to warrant, you know, gaming him with flare. So, you attack. Yeah, fucking flame, flame manipulator. I'm busting out fucking powerful ass red eyes that you've never seen in your entire life, Joey boy. Yeah. So I can activate flare and burn you for another 24. But you have 26 left. Like I said, I could go ahead and go into flare. But you know, we'll go ahead and do that because XC summoning is cool and we don't get to see it much. <laughs> Pretty much every single time Joey Boy here fucking activates the card, I'll burn him for 500, so. What's this, like, technically signature to summon a red eyes from my where? I don't even remember where I summoned the fucking red eyes from. Wait, there's really no point in grabbing that. Um. I'll grab you. Do I summon like the relish from my deck or something like that? Okay, target one known monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Oh, okay. Uh, as soon as I detach it, oh, I can't because I can't detach an exclusive material because I don't have a target in the graveyard. So rip on that. You know, I can't detach and select that target in the graveyard as a target. So well, this should be game. Because all I have to do, oh, hopefully, all I have to do is summon the wine for an attack and then attack directly with flare. So hopefully this will be game. Yeah, I, say, I don't expect you to have anything too though. So. Oh man, you had the cuts for Flaming Swordsman. Too bad, you know. You just didn't have uh, the poly or anything to stand up. Like for Flaming Swordsman, you stand up to what I had, you know? Alright, so. Are you done with that? Oh, face off. So, what's the reverse do? Okay, I'm... So, I guess I was playing as Kaiba. Oh yeah, because Kaiba won this duel, technically. So I'm doing the reverse duel, so I'm playing as Yugi. Good. So, that means I don't have to face against Yugi's BF. Now I can actually kill Kaiba. I can make him kill himself. He can just jump off that fucking ledge and die. <laughs> I'm just like, shit, I'm beat you with fucking Wheeler shit too, my boy. So. <laughs> now, I wonder, when we bring back, uh, like I said, I believe the Duelist Kingdom arc is the longest and I the five Ds. Or, no, Arc V is the shortest. Arc is the shortest. So, when we come back, and you know, I'm kind of wondering what will be the duel for that, you know? Boy, if you bust out, I would say, if you bust out Blue's Ultimate right now, I'll be like, oh shit, motherfucker. Like, that would actually be very difficult to handle. Especially at this hand. Like, I'd have to bust out fucking, uh, uh, 
red and activate something like it, it would be a challenge. It would definitely be a challenge, to say the least. Alright, no. Uh, not as much Lord of Red, more of the stone tripped off her flare. Flare gets some shot in this, this episode. Oh, wow, rip. Rip. <laughs> So what I say about Flare getting to the sign? How about my Flare just gets bounced back to my hand? Like, fucking... That's totally what I mean. It's more fucking high level dragons in my hand. Like I said, I, I thought this deck would be powerful, but not too powerful to the point where I just, you know, raffle stump them. And I, of course, I had to work with what I had got, you know. Uh, and just held and hold one of the decks that was complete in my hand was the fucking, uh... The, the Red Eyes deck, so... You know, and... Uh, I, I played, you know, I played Red Eyes a handful of times, but not too many times. Um, let's go ahead and do this, because I believe I can still do this play during the end phase. I can go ahead and banish him, because I'm not normal summoning. And I can go ahead and activate this. But, I mean, this card has to be in the graveyard, you know, so I'll just go ahead and summon you. And then, of course, chain, because I'm the chain master, as said by the big achievement, so go ahead and pop your monster. Like I said, that's a pretty powerful monster that's a djinn, but sorry. But I got this player here. Uh, oh, my, I'm not the chain, I say chain champion. Apologies. I don't even know my own title. Alright, pop pop. 24-24. Like I said, I'm gonna make you jump off that ledge, Cabo Boy. Now I got Lord of the Red on the field. Now I don't even say deep shit. You know, Lord of the Red's a pretty powerful card. Like I said, are you even gonna activate anything? Like, probably not. So. I'm not going to fall for that play again. I'm just gonna go ahead and summon my stone. I have to make my stone tribute off my stone. Now, of course, chain. Because I'm the chain champion. I stated before. And pop your monster. So even if it's a wall, again, just pop it, you know? Yep, chain champion. There we go, my boy. Wow, that's it all it was. The funny thing is, I can actually XC summon too. But I have to. At this point, I seriously doubt you're going to activate anything and burn yourself to death. You'll probably just set another monster if I give you another turn. Even though I would love for you to burn yourself to death. So I'm just going to go attack for game and that's it. Ah, I'm getting done with these quick. Like I said, I'm not even sure. So that reverse duel is done. So now we get to do as my against Taya and just fucking... The only thing decent about Taya is that she can equip a lot of equip spells and get her monsters pretty easy because of those equip spells. But the rest of her deck is fucking garbage, so, you know, I think I, I remember having a hard time in this fucking duel playing as Taya against Mai, so, yeah. Well, I'm not playing with Harpy Ladies and Mai, I think going against Taya would not be too terrible, to say the least. So, I can go ahead and do the, uh, Redem play. That's not too terrible. Come on, dude. Go ahead and... I said it really doesn't matter what we search for. Not really, because we're just going to go ahead and do this play right here. Alright, so... Activate this. Trip it off. Alright, I believe this actually has a pretty good effect too. It's like, um... You can bench this card to add it, yeah. So, even if shit hits the fan, you can still just go ahead and banish that to the search for a red eye spell trap, which of course can be... Uh, fusion, so, you know, even my future plays are still looking right. Alright, so I'm gonna red him, and then red him. I said, um, let's go ahead and summon Flare. Like that, I could summon him back, and what really good, what's the point, you know? Like, I could summon him back next turn if they survive. Cause I'm just, I would not be surprised with the, what the, what I just put on the field that Taya that goes on the defensive. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, she has the background, though. Yeah, plenty of background. Plenty of background. Damn, Taya! Calm ye fuck down with your ass, girl. Alright, so, I'm going to play our normal summon, so I can just use my normal summon to gain my effect. And activate this effect. So then summon my, uh, Paladin back. And I, uh, I'm going to go on the defensive a little, a little bit, just because, just in case it's a miracle. So this will, of course, automatically destroy this. Yep. Whatever it was, and then Flare can go ahead and get this. 24, wow, all your back row bluffs. Then during the net, uh, during the battle phase, burn you for another 24. Get your ass on fire, my girl. So, uh, oh, that's a symbol for a thing, I was like, I was like, why is it a summon symbol? Well, I already summoned it. So, that it, my girl? Looking like it. Looking like it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I mean you, by getting rid of you and you. Do the ritual summon. You. I can just activate you. And it wants to just pop some of that background, right? It's probably bluffs, because she took on that damage. Would not be surprised if they were bluffs in general. Yeah, some of her equip spells and shit. Some of that red eyes back. Should I go into flare? You know, I'm just gonna stop playing around. Like, just end the fucking duel, you know? Like, we got plenty of duels to do, so I just end it. Like I said, I thought her shit was bluffs. Damn, I killed her magician to fate before I can even flip up to get her that spell mat. Like, nope, bye. Fuck you. Next. Done. Alright. Yep, next. Alright. So, reverse duel. So now I'm the champion versus the creator. Ooh, that outstanding dog Mar. That card is actually not terrible. That card is actually pretty decent in uh, stalls, because you can go ahead and go to Contrip and grab the Maron back. Good times, good times. <laughs> Back when should all have construct rip rip. <laughs> this hand's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, what you got? Pegasus. Alright. You think that fucking just summoning Toon Goblin attack force would be like, oh, oh, Cavalboy, I'm just gonna summon this powerful 2300. Get around this. Get a load of this. Like fucking Eggman. They'll be like, nah, my boy. I'm about to bust out a fucking, like, 3800? Ah, Red Eyes Fusion, so powerful, like, why did, why did you make it so you could fuse them in that, like, Miracle Fusion, that's cards are already powerful, you just need to from the graveyard, but fusing from the deck, like, come on, go ahead and equip to you, damn, 3,800, my boy, like, I bet you didn't know if I can come back this up your sleeve, my boy, yep, damn, of course I am Red Eyes, hit you with my mixtape, so hot, Now, uh, nah, because I'm gonna actually call the Haunted Dad Red Eyes, hopefully next turn. Or Summon Skull. Well, actually, I could have just burned the Red Eyes with the Summon Skull, so. That was my B. I'm so used to having, a uh, Spirit. What the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna say, what the fuck was that great call the Haunted Like, no. Nope, I'm good. So, what are you gonna do, Pegasus? You gonna go on the defensive? Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, that's what I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just summon Summon Skull. Summon Skull. Easily one of my favorite monsters in, uh, in its arc. <laughs> there it is. Alright. Okay, this should be play. 38. I got 27 left. I'll say shit, that's not enough to burn you. Ah, there's, there's no point. There's not even enough to burn him. If I had another dragon in my hand, I could have called the hunted the red eyes and banished the red eyes to summon uh, Redum and then Redum summon back the red eyes, but I didn't have another dragon I could summon. And of course, Lord Red can't be summoned. Uh, yeah. I don't think so. He has to be ritual summoned first, so rip on that. Alright, I should be able to beat you with the burn effect. No matter what this card is, because of course I can just go ahead and attack you with Archfiend, hit you with Summon's Call, you have 200 life in Archfiend, turn the red eyes back to the deck, burn you for that remaining 200, so. So that's how we do it. So whatever it is, nope. Oh, it's just a Toon Camera. Toon the Red Eyes, mixtape once again. Hit you directly with Summon's Call. No, stop asking me. No, no, stop asking me, because I'm gonna end it like this. Yep. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Activate that. Turn that. You take that 24, end game. Hey, that's it. We are, we are just blazing through all these duels, right? Alright. Duel identity. Just... Go down the list. Do a win, 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 win. Like I said, I can't even talk shit. I did get that one L. But, like I said, I didn't lose. This fucking bullshit ass fucking Yugi here just had to fucking 
What was it, like lightning vortex monster barn and I couldn't get around my own fucking monster? <laughs> Not that great. It really is not. Let's see what I draw. Nah, I'll just draw my fucking wyverns. Like, alright. I can play a wyvern. At least wyverns are 18 beater. So at least I can't complain about that. But seriously. All my wyverns? Get that beaver way out of here, Asian eyes. Uh. I'm, 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 like I said, I was only at what, 63% at the beginning of this video. I don't know, some throwing dark hole at me. Uh, no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Damn, we back at it again with the fucking bullshit ass dark holes. Nah, uh, that's gonna fuck it. I might just beat your, beat your ass with wyverns, this is the little boy. Don't summon that wyvern back, boy. Oh my god, fucking Snizzity Snooch! Fucking Dark Hole with the Snizzity Snooch! Damn, you get back at it again with the fucking Snizzity Snooch. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just glad that you already used the Snizzity Snooch now and didn't use it when I'm about to do this movie, so. Wow. I didn't pay attention. I actually fused from my hand, but I definitely should have fused from my deck. Not that it really matters, it's just, you know. I'm not supposed to neg with this play, but I technically did, so. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill my dragon. So, thanks for that. Let's do a mixtape, and I'm done. Nah, no point in burning you now. Just keep your eyes in there. So, let me guess, fucking. I would say Lightning Vortex, Dragaki, Monster Born again. So if you did that, I would punch you. I would punch you so hard, you I said, I don't think this is game, even with the Archeen Burn. Attack you. Hit you for 32. And I don't think, even with the 24, no. He's not. The Lightning Vortex. No. Let's go ahead and Alright, what you got, Yugi? You got another Dark Hole Regeki or something? I'm just gonna end it. Yep, I thought that was the boy. I thought that. I'm thinking even with Karibo. I'm being a little safe. I'm actually gonna put it down another monster, but even with Karibo, it should still be in. Because every single card in your hand is like a Karibo. Actually, even with every single hand card in your hand being a Karibo, because. My art, yeah, let's say, my Archfiend can attack, you'll take that, uh, that 32, and then I'll just return and you'll take that 24 and I'll begin. Of course you can, you can't hurry with my Archfiend. Alright, let's get him, Yugi boy. No, stop asking me. Alright, another W. God, like I said, we did this and do it. We still got a handful more to do. Like, I'm not even at the duel with Kingdom Hearts. We still gotta do fucking the fucking Merrick arc. We still gotta do the fucking Dragon Duel. Like, we still got a handful. I say, I, I say maybe, maybe next weekend. I don't know. I don't know. If need be, and I finish this before the lie, I can always just cut the video shorter than a half an hour. You know, I don't think you guys would mind that. And then you know we won't have to worry about it in July. It'll just be straight week. But like I said I, I, I feel confident. We're just going so quickly with this that I feel confident that we're doing okay. Alright. I'm not getting a lot of fusion, but I'm not sure if I feel like doing that play. You know? I can go ahead and do this play. Which is also a good play. As I said, when I get this play, I, just, I don't know. I like doing it. It's fun. And drill summon you by getting rid of. Could get rid of you and keep them on you. That wouldn't be terrible. Summon you. Activate you. Trip it off you. Go ahead and summon Redem. Where's Redem? Redem. The play, like, it's just interesting that it works like that, you know? 
spread them, you can go ahead and throw them back. Oh, they didn't. Like, it's just, it's just a good play. Now watch me regret this entire fucking shit when he fucking hits me with Mirror Force and I should've won the right? Oh, we could play Megamorph. Oh, uh, Metamorph. Oh, rip, I'm dead. Oh, well, at least we still kill these red. Okay, wow. I wish I'd attack with the higher monster first. There was really no reason not to. Eh, I mean, I can get rid of a card in this. Now it's an expendable freaking uh, paladin. I can always summon that fucker back. Which I'll probably next turn, because I'm assuming that you'll probably just go ahead and set a monster, yep. So because you're, you set a monster, I'm just gonna be like, paladin, kill it automatically? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and summon that paladin back. No point in tributing you, though, I could. Paladin can handle this. Da -da -da -da. No matter what it is, pop it. Baby dragon. You're right. I'm gonna show you the power of a real dragon, my boy. Alright. We're almost done with this episode, actually. No? Uh, probably the duel after this one. This duel and the next duel will win that, hopefully. And then I'll go ahead and call it a video. Oh, send some background, boy. Send some background, I see. During your end phase, let me go ahead and just tornado that background. I said, even I said, just power creep. The game gets stronger and stronger. I said, the advantage that they have is that they can play banned cards. I mean, I probably could play banned cards, but I'm not sure what the game would say about it. Nor do I really feel like doing that. I want to limit myself, handicap myself a little bit, or I just crush them. Even though generally I'm just crushing them, you know, I just crush them. I can play banned cards too. All right, so uh, that's from best duel. So you remember that uh, alternate reality where fucking Joey actually beats Yugi? And uh, he just takes the money, and uh, Grandpa gets the uh, seal forever. Yeah, good times, good times. <laughs> I'd watch that episode. <laughs> a what if episode of what if Joey won? I mean, because he gets the money despite that, but I'm kind of wondering what Joey would do. Yeah. Would Joey be like, oh no, you, no, get your Grandpa, no, you, I'm sorry, but you know, for Serenity's sake, I have to. And he'll be like, that's okay, Joey, I know. My grandpa, fuck him, you know, you mean Serenity, you know, she's a hot bitch, and my grandpa, he's just an old fucking shriveled up prune, so fuck you. <laughs> and he's like, I'm glad you saw it my way, you. Oh shit. You got fusion summon? Yes, you are. What the fuck are you fusing, my boy? Oh shit. Oh shit, he's like, I'll show you. God damn. <laughs> I see it. I see you. Hey, that's pretty good. Yes. Hmm. Like I said, I could get... I'm gonna get fusion, just in case. Cause, like I said, I could've got my fusion card. I mean, my ritual card and something reward, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I would have any cards to activate, to activate the effect, you know? And that could be an issue, so... I think the best choice right now would be to actually just crash. Damn, you! Like he's like, I'll show you. Like, All right. I could probably do that play too. It's just I don't have that many summon skulls. So he's like, you want? You're going to the black skull dragon too? And I'm like, no, black skull archfiend, motherfucker. Are we the same stats? Yeah, we are. Huh. Alright. Now the thing is, is that he probably still has way more playable cards than I do. So. That right now, that was like the best play I fucking had, so. Unless I draw, I need to draw. There's a couple cards I could draw. Damn, there's a there's summon time with this. Yeah, wow, well, okay. Sure. Sure, fuck boy. Is that even worth it? <laughs> summon time was an equipment with the fucking book. Just to go whopping 800 fucking attack. Like, alright, alright. Alright, you. Using my fucking cards and shit. Using my fucking red eye. Using my fucking time wizard. Like, alright. Yep, that was one of the cards that I was like, hey, that's one of the cards I could draw. I'm gonna go ahead and dust turn into this because I don't want to get in the way of my plans right now. Yeah, and that definitely would have gotten in the way of my plans. Uh, it doesn't negate the monster's effect, but still. It's not like a fiendish chain. So search, of course, search for my paladin. I'm about to do a great ass play right now, actually. Activate this. 
go summon this, this, by tricking up this. Actually, you know what? Probably should have tripped the three dice. I could have kept it on you. Uh, that was misplay on my part. Alright. Trigger off Paladin. Summon Redum. And then, of course, Redum can go ahead and summon me back my Archfiend. Or his, or his dragon, too. Is it any dragon in the graveyard, or is it just in my graveyard? No, it's just in my graveyard. Alright, I thought it was any dragon in any graveyard. Nope, just my graveyard. But that's fine. So give me my Black Skull back. Uh, kill that Time Wizard. Up. Actually, if I would have left the Manji, that would have been game, right? Yes, it would have. Fuck. Oh, wait, no, I don't have a red eyes in the graveyard. Thought I did. I don't have a red eyes in the graveyard. I don't have a red eyes in the graveyard. Oh. So, Charity, Broken, Ancient Rules. Summoning Dark Magician in Defense Mode. That's when you know that you're desperate. When you got Ancient Rules and Summoning Dark Magician in Defense Mode, it's like, alright, fuckboy. Alright, I see you. The issue with that is, I can just do this. So, uh, GG, Yugs. Sorry, but the power of my red eyes is too strong, Yugs. <laughs> Alright. And we're done. Yep. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. So, next time, uh, we got plenty more to go. Like, look at all this. We got plenty more to go. I'd say we're like, what, halfway done? So, maybe just by next weekend we might be done. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll go by ear. Uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of Duelist. You go let's play. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys next time with some more uh, Legacy of Duelist. See you guys tomorrow with some more Yu Gi Oh! related content. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.